Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So on today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and it's something that I don't normally do on this channel anymore. And so if you're brand new to my channel, then you probably see that I do a lot of tech tutorials, YouTube and tech review channels. But one thing that you might not know is I used to do a lot of Linux based videos and that was a lot of why my channel grew in the first place. And I'm very grateful for all the people who still stick around. But that's something that I really don't do much anymore. But today I just wanted to make a quick video because uh, Linux Mint is the operating system I use. I've used it for years and I absolutely love this operating system. And one thing that's always nice is there's updates. And so there's a brand new version of Linux Mint. It's Linux Mint 20.2 UMA and I'm currently using Linux Mint 20.1. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this and just quickly see what's changed and what hasn't and it's not going to be anything in depth it's just something that I'm really happy that we have and I'm able to share that with you know any of the people who still watch my channel from watching my Linux content that I did before so let's go ahead and update this okay so that took about five to six minutes to download all the updates and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, reboot my machine and try out the brand new version of Linux Mint 20.2 UMA. For fast website hosting and top-notch service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so as you can see, I restarted my machine and now I'm on Linux Mint UNA. So if I go here and check out the version that I'm using. There it is, Linux Mint 20.2. And one thing that I always love with every new release are the new backgrounds. And wow, these backgrounds are just really beautiful. So hats off to you know everybody who is involved with doing Linux Mint, the entire Linux Mint and open source community. Wow, it's just, I don't know what to say, I love using Linux Mint. I'm a huge fanboy of this operating system and versus any other operating system that I use, even within the whole Linux distro world, this is still my favorite, you know? And if you don't know anything about Linux at all, um, you can check out my Linux playlist. Like I said, I rarely do any type of Linux videos, but I have like hundreds of Linux videos. So for anybody who's curious, uh, you could go check those out because you know there's definitely a world out there outside of Microsoft Windows and outside of Apple Mac OS and you'll be pleasantly surprised at the overall experience and quality that you get out of this and let me take a quick look at you know what the features are because honestly I, I do not know because I didn't know that there was a new version and I'm not going to go in depth at all or anything about it I just wanted to share this with you because I love using Linux and specifically Linux Mint. So Snap Store, okay, disabled still. Okay, VirtualBox, Drivers, there's one. Wait, that's not the features. Let me see. Here's the release announcement. Okay, I went to the wrong place. All right, so what do we have here? What's new? Okay, let's scroll down. No, nope, that's not it. Where's the oh, there it is. What's new? Uh, I kind of get lost on this website even to today. So it is a long term support, so this will be supported till 2025. So they have improved. Let me see notifications. And I'm going through this quickly. So this is just like a really quick uh, first experience with it you know my first thoughts update manager okay it handles flat pack so you could rename files in bulk so sticky notes looks better for people who use those that's great so warpinator you can okay this is for network related stuff which is great if you have a network you could transfer files a lot easier uh, oh, you could actually even install this on Android as well. That's great. Nemo has had some updates, the file manager. All right, performance. So Cinnamon, it is a resource hog. So if anybody is familiar with Cinnamon versus XFCE and everything else, so the desktop environment. So that's great that it's going to utilize uh, less of your hardware, specifically RAM, it seems like. I do not know what this is. Spice updates. Okay. 
locking screen. All right. There's really not many dramatic changes, but this is the one thing that I absolutely love about Linux Mint. It's not about the big changes uh, that you can see. It's all the many big changes underneath. And so the reason why I absolutely love using Linux Mint, I've probably said that word so many times, is it's stable. Okay, it's stable and it works. And so it's definitely not the most cutting edge uh, Linux distribution out there. But in terms of an operating system that is consistently stable, things work and it's very easy to use and it's highly customizable as with most Linux distros. So that's just my quick thoughts. And as you could probably tell, I am an absolute fanboy of Linux Mint. <laughs> I would say it is the perfect operating system, at least for me. And I would say for a lot of people. So once again, if you do not know what this is and you're interested in it, just check out my entire Linux playlist. I have hundreds of videos. And even though a lot of that stuff is not updated or not recent, uh, it still is applicable for people who are brand new to it. So if you actually had any thoughts in this video or if you are a Linux user yourself, leave some of the comments below because <laughs> it's good to hear, you know, from my Linux community every now and then. And, you know, like I said, I don't make these videos as much anymore. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you're gonna get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.